hello guys assalamu alaikum welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to show you how you can install c lion in your windows operating system with min gw setup that means gcc compiler and how to run any c or c plus plus code there okay so before i start this tutorial make sure to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for never miss any update so let's start it so first of all you need to open your favorite browser and search for c lion and as you can see visit the first link which is appear here which is from www.jetbings.com just click on it and once you click on it it will show you this kind of web page where as you can see c lion is a cross platform ide for c and c plus plus okay so here you need to go to the download and as you can see at the time making this video the c lion version is 21.3.4 and this is the date when it was released and for install this you need to know about the system requirement by clicking here so this is the system requirement to install this ide which is you need to 64 bit version of windows 10 or 8 you need 2 gb free ram and hard disk need 2.5 gb and it's need this minimum screen resolution so as you can see at the top of the download it says c lion includes an evolution license key for a free 30 days trial that means it's not a free software but in this video i am going to activate this ide with my free license so that i can use this application with free of cost so if you don't know how to create a free license account in jetbrings.com don't worry about it check out the link in the description below where i properly show you how you can easily create a free license account in jetbrings.com so that you can also activate many of jetbrings software as like me so for download this just simply click on the download and as you can see it's open our download page it's around 584.07 mb just download it so once our download is complete just open the folder as you can see this is our c lion exe file so for install this you need to double click on it so once you double click on it it will come you to the setup just choose your next option and here is the location where our c lion is installed and at the below it will show you the space required it's need 2.3 gb and then you need to choose your next option and at the installation option you need to check mark this which is going to create a desktop shortcut and you also need to check mark this and also this which is going to create a environment variable path in our windows operating system so after that you just choose here next and here it will show you to choose here your start menu folder i just set it by default and choose here install and as you can see our installation is started so once our installation is finished it will tell you to reboot it so just simply choose here the reboot now option and click here finish and it will automatically restart our pc so once our restart is complete now it's time to open our c lion just simply double click on it so once you double click on it it will show you some of user agreement just tick mark this option and choose here continue so once our c lion is open it will show you the license 
where I just log in my free license account to activate it. So if you have free license account, so what you need to do? You need to just choose the JB account and click here login to JetBrings account. Okay. So once you click on it, it will take you to the browser and tell you to log in with your username and password. So just simply log in with your account which have your free license. Okay. So after logging this, it will show you a message which is authorization is successful. So just simply close the browser and you need to choose here the activate option to activate your free license. Just click on it. And as you can see, it will activate our free license, which subscription is until the 4 March 2023. So now I can use this IDE until this date. So that's how you can activate your free license account. So just simply close it. And this is the interface of C Lion. So for write here any code, you need to create here a new project. Just click on it. And once you click on it, it will show you some of option the right side of the window. So you need to choose here your language which you need to be create a project. So first I create here a C project. So I just click on the C executable. And if you want you can change your location. So I just simply save this file in my document and create here a new project. Just click on create and also click here create from existing source okay so as you can see it's open our new c project but it will also open a project wizard where it will show you to download the mingw bundle so without the bundle you can face some of troubles here to run any code there so now we need to download here this mingw setup from here just click on the download and here is the installation link just click on it and just open here five second and here is our download page which is around 937.99 kilobyte just download it and our download is complete just open the folder and here is our mingw exe file so before you install this you need to close your c lion ide okay so for install this mingw you need to double click on it so once you double click on it it will welcome you to the mingw installation just choose your next option and now it will show you the settings from here you need to go to the architecture and choose here x86-64 okay and choose your next option so here i just minimize the file path so that i easily understand where our minzw is installed okay and after that just choose here next but as you can see it will not install so if you face this type of installation error don't worry about it you just check out the link in the description below where i show you how to solve this mingw installation error and how to set the mingw folder in our environment variable path so that every application can find this mingw setup okay just check out the link so after solve this problem now you can verify your mingw installation for doing this you need to go to your search bar and search their cmd and just open the command prompt and simply just write here gcc space double hyphen version and press here enter and as you can see our command prompt easily find our gcc or mean gw setup and here is the version 
at the time making this video this is the latest version of mingw which is 8.1.0 so now what you need to do you need to again open your c lion ide just double click on it and for set the mingw path you need to go to the file and choose your settings and from settings you need to choose here build execution development and from here you need to choose here the tool chain and now what you need to do you need to go to the tool set and click here this arrow icon and choose here your folder path just click on it and as you can see it will automatically find your main gw setup apply it and ok it our main gw setup is complete so now you can easily run any c or c plus plus code there so here as you can see it will by default write here hello world c code to run this code you need to go to the run option and as you can see it will show you the hello world output and if you want to write here c plus plus code what you need to do you need to again create here a c plus plus project just simply go to the file go to the new and project and choose here c plus plus executables choose here create and here it say you can open this project this window or new window i just choose here a new window and as you can see here is the c plus plus hello world code so for run this code you need to click here again run option and here is our c plus plus hello world output so that's how you can execute here any c or c plus plus code you can also apply here your own code so i hopefully guys you understand how to install c lion in your windows operating system with mingw setup and how to run any c or c plus plus code there so i hopefully guys you enjoy this video if you enjoy this video don't forget to like comment and share and if you like this type of video don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon and i will see you guys in this next video inshallah thank you so much